Hey everybody, welcome back to LNL Handicom Homestead. Today is the day. We are going to do some handling. First thing before we get anything started, okay, about the canning, I want everybody to make sure that you have everything ready, everything sanitized, everything is clear out of your mind, everything is clear in your kitchen, and only just your canning supplies, okay? That's that. So, with us getting ready to get started into this canning series, I do want to let you know, we're going to take our time, okay? We're going to do this together, all right? And we are going to be self-sufficient. That is the best thing to my ears, being self-sufficient, where we make our own canning foods, okay? Either from the garden or using the stuff from the farmer's market, okay? We're going to do this together. All right, let's begin. We'll be getting our recipes from the new and used Ball Home Preservation Preserving Canning Book, okay? If you have this, that's great. We can go along with it together. This is the one I have. That way I'll be able to tell you what page to turn to. If you don't, that's okay too. Because I will put the recipe in and I will come on just like this and tell you what recipe we're gonna be working with when canning. So that way you'll know and you'll be prepared. And there'll be a few days before the canon video, okay? Now, in this book on page 217, we're gonna be working with all the relishes, okay? Now, there might be some stuff in here that you might not like, okay? Disclaimer, I, me, will go ahead and fix that if I was you. I will go ahead and fix that and have it canned up because you never know. Somebody might say, hey, I, I like that. I, I can't find it anywhere. You know what I'm saying? And then you're trying it. You're tasting it before you even can it yourself while you're making it up and you're trying something new. So that's the reason why I would do it. But if you don't want to do that recipe, that's fine. That's all on you. Fix what you like to eat. And if there's a canning re uh, recipe on this relish that you like, that intrigues you, then guess what? I already have it posted. I will also have the ingredients. And if you ain't got the book, that's fine. That's why I'm doing that, okay? Okay. I'm gonna turn to page 217. And the title of this is Relish, okay? And so the first thing that's on this page is making homemade pickling spice. Homemade pickling spice. So that's gonna be the first thing that we make, okay? Is homemade pickling spice. Now this will hold a half a cup, okay? It'll hold a half a cup. And that way you can have that put away. That could be your backup in case you don't have any pickling spice. Um, on hand. This is a way you can make it if you got the ingredients around you. Okay? So, the first ingredient is one cinnamon stick. Okay? About four inches by ten centimeters broken into pieces. You will need five bay leaves and they need to be crushed. You will need two tablespoons of mustard seeds. You will need one tablespoon of whole allspice. You will need one tablespoon of coriander seeds. You will need one tablespoon of whole black peppercorn. And you will need one tablespoon of ground ginger, one tablespoon of dill seeds, two tablespoons, 
correction, two teaspoons of cardamom seeds, one to two teaspoons of hot paper flakes, and one teaspoon of whole cloves, okay? Now, another thing too, to save. If you are in your grocery store, or if you are online, Amazon, Azure, some of those places like that, sometimes they will already have the pickling spice already made up for you. And if you have those ingredients around you, like I did, it will be just that amount right here. That's exactly a half a cup right here. I done made it up, but this is what I put in what I just told you. That's exactly what I put in there. Okay? Now, if you want to make more, you can double the recipe. Okay? Because if this is what you want to make more of, what the recipe is calling for, and if it's asking for that pickling spice, and if it says four cups, or if it says uh, three cups, or whatever the case might be, you have gave yourself a head start in making some of this pickling spice. Okay? That's why I said this is the first thing on that first page when we're doing relishes, is pickling spice. You can make your own, or you can buy it individually, or whole, or if you already got the stuff in your on your um, pantry shelf, go ahead and mix this stuff up. But those, this is what is asking for, okay? And I'm giving you all this information, so that way you can go out and get all this. I will not start this until I let you know when and what day, okay? So that way we can do it together. I would love to do it together, okay? I'm trying to get up enough subscribers, okay? So that way we can do it live. That would be most excellent to do, to go live and we're doing one-on-one. -on -one. So that way we can work together and it's not being like recorded at that you know at that time and then you'd be like well dang you know if you got a question i can be able to look up on the monitor and see that you're asking and then we can put things on hold hey i can answer it that's why okay so we're gonna work together so i'm gonna read these off to you again so that way you'll know what ingredients you will need to make this pickling spice Okay, so this pickling spice right here is calling for a half a cup. If you need to make more, which I am as well, go ahead and make up some more. Make up some more, okay? Because as we're going through this book, we're going to have to need more of these, okay? I will be reading those recipes to you. I'm stressing it because I'm just letting you know that we're doing this together. You're not gonna be by yourself, okay? We're gonna do this together. It's gonna be enough adamant time for you to be able to go out and get what you need to get for each recipe that we do, okay? For each one, okay? So for this pickling recipe, this is what you're gonna need. Again, you're gonna need one cinnamon stick, about four inches broken into pieces. You're gonna need five bay leaves, crushed. You're gonna need two tablespoons of mustard seeds. You're gonna need one tablespoon of whole allspice. You're gonna need one tablespoon of coriander seeds. And you're gonna need one tablespoon of whole black peppercorns. You're gonna need one tablespoon of ground ginger. You're gonna need one tablespoon of dill seeds. Two teaspoons of cardamom seeds, one to two teaspoons of hot pepper flakes, and one teaspoon of whole cloves. Okay? On a technical note on things, I will show you what it looks like. Now, some of these spices I've already made up. Now, if you got a garden and stuff like that, that's awesome because then it's also fresh. You, if you're going to the store and you need to get these seasonings, make sure it's fresh. Make sure that what's on your pantry is fresh and it's not three or four years old because you want to have that intense flavor 
of your food when you're canning, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about, okay? So the red pepper flakes. Now that's the other thing I wanna tell you too. While I was gardening and still gardening, you know, I've had people around me when they're throwing out their seasoning uh, containers or going to the Dollar Tree, different places like that. Uh, mason jars, you know, you can find them on Marketplace or you might just save those mason jars that you had your pickles and stuff in when you were buying your pickles. I had a lady that donated me a bunch of pickle jars, all different sizes. I've had people bring me their old seasoning containers that they didn't want no more, where they were throwing away the plastic ones. And I had some that I was using from when I was buying seasoning off the counter, y'all. So those uh, containers will come in handy so that way you can refill those, okay? You can refill them back up. So that way they'll save you money as well too. If you can grow these type of herbs and these type of uh, plants and stuff out here, it'd be great to have so you can dehydrate them and that way you can always have you some fresh um, herbs and spices and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You're saving money and you're being self-sufficient that way as well, okay? So I'm gonna quit babbling. I just wanted to throw that note out there to you, okay? Okay. Okay, so the first thing that is asking you, again, I'm bringing it to you again, just in case you didn't hear me. The first part of the recipe is one cinnamon stick. So here's some cinnamon sticks. You can get you some cinnamon sticks for a little of nothing, okay? Sometimes the Dollar Tree has it. Sometimes the Dollar Store have them. Just look around, okay? Don't go to the most expensive place because you might can find those seasonings and the spices in those stores. I know I did. I paid a dollar for that, okay? A dollar for these cinnamon sticks. So the first recipe on there is asking for cinnamon sticks, okay? I got cinnamon sticks. The other one is said crushed bay leaves. So you can get you some bay leaves and you can crush them up, okay? And I... I, mean, I had some bay leaves. I grew some bay leaves. So now I'm using my own bay leaves because I cook with this all the time. And it felt so good to grow some bay leaves. This is before I had even came on the camera, y'all. So I was already doing that. And my neighbors, they gave me containers like this all the time. I got all different sizes, all different kind of the styles and everything. Save these. They will come in handy, okay? So that way you can put your stuff in there. You know what I'm saying? Refill them back up. It don't have to be fancy. You know how much these things run? Come on now. You can sanitize these and put your seasonings in them, okay? So it's asking for bay leaves. So here, I have some bay leaves. The other one is asking for allspice. Get you some allspice, okay? Right here. Hold. Okay, and then you have whole cloves. Yes. You can get some black grinder peppercorn. See? My neighbor gave me a jar like this. I got all different kind of containers. You see what I'm saying? So if I was needing to have to crush these peppercorns and have me some fresh ground pepper, then all I had to do, if I didn't have the grinder for these, or if I had some peppercorns that came in a big container and is asking for from fresh kind, and I didn't have no more pepper but just those peppercorns, I would have been able to put that in here or my processor and grind it up like one of your um, coffee grinders. Put that in there and you can make you some, you know, gr you can grind your own um, Himalayan salt, sea salt, peppercorns, different color peppercorns. You can grind them up if you don't have one of these. Start saving them, y'all. Start saving them. So, it's asking for, um, like I said, peppercorn, ginger, okay? Same with the ginger. You can grow your own ginger, y'all. You can grow your own ginger, okay? And then you can grind it and make it yourself. 
I used to buy this all the time. This was before I had even knew in the world, you know, my memory started coming back. That's a whole nother story. But even with myself, I couldn't even remember, you know what I'm saying? And still, until um, my mom brought me the things that I needed to have and said, hey, here's your license for this. Here, you know, cause I couldn't remember. There's a lot of things that's happened in my life as well. So I couldn't remember. I had things, you know what I'm saying? I had different little things and I was, um, I did a lot of studying back in the day. A lot of this stuff started coming back to me. So yeah, you could grow your own, your own ginger and grind it up and have your own. But if you don't, go to the store or, you know, and get you some organic kind if you want. Dill is asking for some dill weed or dill um, seeds. You know what I'm saying? For this particular uh, recipe, get you some dill seeds, okay? You will see your dill seeds when it comes to a head, when it goes to seed. You already know what I'm talking about. Grow you some deal so that way you'll have some deal on the side too. You know what I'm saying? So we can just keep on going. But um, deal weed, okay? Red pepper flakes. I did a seasoning challenge and I had a lot of hot peppers. I had a lot of them from last year. And I grinded a lot of that chili pepper. I ground it and made some flakes out of them. I used some scotch bonnet peppers. I got all of them. It just says red pepper flakes. Whatever pepper flakes you might have. You can have it as hot as you want to. It's your recipe, okay? So you can um, substitute. When we're going through this, pickling spice. So if there's red pepper flakes, if that's too hot for you, just discard it, okay? If it's too hot for you. Or if you know somebody that likes hot food, go ahead and, and make it. So that way, it will always be there if you want to have that. You know what I'm saying? You'll have you a hot pickling spice. Okay? So, and then the other things that I don't have that it's asking for is mustard seeds. Okay? Coriander seeds. And cardamom seeds. Those are the only three. I ran out of those three things when I made up my own pickling spice. Right here. Because I had all these ingredients right here and I made that I made that right there but we're gonna double it you can double it and make a whole cup if you like okay on page 217 we're gonna be doing the relish and that's the homemade pickling spice okay that's how you make your homemade pickling spice I will come back on to let you know when we are going to start this recipe together okay i made up some so that way you can see what it looks like but we're going to do this together when i set the date for us to come back on so that way you know whoever has not been able to hit this station yet i said station channel yet then when it's on here they'll be able to catch when we're getting ready to launch okay to the next page because that's when it's going to be really hidden but right now, this is the first page for relishes. This is the very first page, okay? So, I wanted to come on here so that way you can get your stuff, get your supplies ready, and be ready. So that way, if you want to go ahead and make it up, you'll be able to make it up. That way, you'll have some stashed on to the side, okay? And I'll be able to tell you the day we're getting ready to start. So y'all go ahead and get y'all stuff ready. Get you get it prepared. And we're going to start. We're getting ready to start. We are starting. As a matter of fact, what am I talking about? We're getting ready to start. We are starting. So this is the first of the relish series, okay? For the homemade pickling spice that's on that page, okay? Thank everybody for coming on, joining in, hearing, and all that. And everybody get ready because we're getting ready to launch, okay, at LNL Honeycomb Homestead. If you're ready for this canning series and you're ready to get started, ready to be self sufficient, y'all tune in, subscribe to the channel, hit like, subscribe, okay. Comment down below. Give it a thumbs up, y'all. Okay?
because we're getting ready to get started. Okay, we're getting ready to get started. I will be back on. I might be in the garden. I might be doing whatever. But that's when I'm going to let you know when I will be back on. And we're going to tell you when. Because it's going to be a few days. I'm going to give you a few days. Don't worry. It won't be on that day. You know, hey, let's go. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give you a head start, you know, to get your mind right. We're not going to be planning nothing. I'm going to let you know exactly what day. So that way, if you are interested in wanting to can, nothing else is going to distract you. Nothing else. It will be on record until I'm able to get enough subscribers so we can go live, okay? If you know anybody that wants to can, if you know anybody besides you that wants to can, I don't care if it's just five people. Five people is better than none, okay? Get about five people. Y'all can come together, okay, and get y'all some jars and stuff like that. And y'all making it up. Y'all got a little team going on. Y'all learning. Y'all taking turns, alternating. Who's going to do it, what? Who's going to do what? Whatever like that. We're going to work together. That's how we're going to learn, y'all. And we're going to do this whole entire book. Whole entire book. We're going to have our own grocery store, okay? So, now you know. My name is Lovey. Thank you for coming to l and Honey Come Homestead. And hey, y'all know what it is. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Until then, bye-bye.